to move on to the, the questions about inspections and appraisals. And, you know, once again, it was kind of, why do we have these special inspections for VA loans and why is there a different appraisal? And here's one specific question that came in, was interesting. We can kind of use this to, for people to answer and how it kind of affects Realtors or, you know, Terry, if you have any, you know, any information on this to jump in, but this is the, I got a VA loan in 1997 and I'm refinancing now. The VA appraiser says I have to have a barrier installed at the end of my driveway for safety reasons. My question is why do I have to do that? So I guess I'll start out with this. Uh, I want to go back to the reason why we have minimum property requirements first, and then we'll get into the specifics of, the, uh, of that question. Um, so, uh, you know, VA has in one of its um, one of its pillars of, of the program itself is to protect veterans, to make sure that a veteran, when they move into a home, we want to make sure that it's safe, sound, and sanitary. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, we've established minimum property requirements, uh, you know, that we want to make sure that, you know, the, the, there's not going to be a, a leak a week after you're, uh, you know, a leak a week after you move in, sorry. Uh, so there are certain things that, that we do require. But that's a protection, and to be honest with you, um, one of the things that, that you should look for is is in that protection that you know uh, um, we want to take that worry out from you, uh, you know, out from your uh, um, fr from uh, from moving forward. So the the important thing to um, to remember on uh, as far as waivers or anything like that, when you're talking about this barrier, uh, the barrier on the one instance, there are always waivers that you can ask for minimum property requirements, especially when you're doing a refinance. That's important to note to talk to the VA and to understand what those are, uh, are when you're eligible to do that. But when you're talking about a purchase or origination, um, you know the main. Um, the main part of the process, though, is not any different than any other appraisal process that you would go to in any uh, using another financing vehicle. So make sure that um, you know that's one of the things that I, I wanted to, to stress is that if you're going to when you're ordering appraisal, whether or not it's VA or whether or not it's any other process, the timeliness of that appraisal, the process of ordering that appraisal is pretty much the same. The difference is the the protections that are afforded by the minimum property requirements. Yeah, and I, and I agree with that. I think uh, these requirements with the appraisal and the inspections, I think, is a positive. I don't think it's a negative, um, you know, because the last thing you want is a veteran in a home, and then some situation arises, and um, and it's not exactly what they thought it was, and then, you know, financial issues uh, come up or the house leaks, like John said. Uh, I think these should be marketed as positives that are there to protect the, uh, the veteran, and that's why it's such a great and solid loan that uh, once it is approved, the veteran knows he or she has a great home and that they can build a family. And I agree with that. Um, certainly, it doesn't matter what type of loan. Uh, when I'm working with a home buyer, I always uh, counsel them and, and explain to them about the importance of having a, a home inspection, having it, and, and what the appraisal really is, because you want them to have peace of mind when they're moving into the home. Uh, we never know when our veterans are going to be deployed or what may come up, but again, it goes back to what John started out with, protecting that veteran and um, that future homeowner. Especially the way the market has been the past five years. Uh, obviously now it's, it's, it's on the recovery stage, but especially with all these issues where a lot of people couldn't make the payments, had they been on, on better loans, it would have been uh, a much different situation. So the, the veteran is uh, extra protected, and that's always a great thing. So I have a, a quick question for, for the rest of you on the panel. Um, the last loan process I went through, the, the inspection seemed to be one of the big hang-ups, just getting it scheduled and taken care of. Has that been uh, improved lately as far as getting more inspectors available or having a streamlined process for that? I, I will speak to that. Uh, we actually uh, are in the process of enhancing that part of our automation as well. Um, what we do know is that the time that it takes nationally for an appraiser to deliver the product is no different. A VA loan is no different than any other loan out there. The, the, the timeliness is the same. What we do know is, is that we have um, a, a day or two time difference um, in, our, in the review process because we're reviewing a lot um, more data, um, especially when you're talking about minimum property requirements than the average loan would. Um, so there's a, a day or two lag there. 
We are enhancing our systems and providing our um, staff review appraisers more tools for them to be able to do that quicker. So we're hoping that that's going to allow us over the next um, year to two years to even um, further, uh, you know, become more efficient. So a real fo a quick follow on. For, for those that don't understand the difference between the appraiser and the inspect and the housing house inspection, um, can you kind of tell us more about that? So the, the appraisal is going to look at the appraiser is going to look at um, what value will your home bring? Uh, you know, what is that house worth right now? Um, the inspection is going to look even deeper and look at what are the things that could that could come up that could cause you issues, not only now but but later. <laughs> And, yeah, you know, and, and the one thing that I will say is the, the inspection is not required um, by VA. Yeah, but I, I would suggest in any home loan purchase that you have um, that you look at um, seriously and, and, and to a home inspection. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Everybody should get a home inspection when they, when they buy a house across the board. I, regarding the VA inspections, like the pest inspection and the well inspection, I actually... I have a well in my home and I had to get a well inspection and to be honest with you, I was kind of happy the VA required it. You know, I have a, a daughter at home who's a, a 16 months old and you know, I really do want to know that, that drinking water is safe and I'm not sure I would have done that inspection if the VA hadn't have asked me to do that. So to me it's a protection. I mean I really like that. Same with the pest inspection. You know, I don't know if I would have thought to have my house checked for termites. Thankfully, there were no termites. But you know, I think it's a really good thing and it, so I don't consider that a hindrance at all. I consider that a plus. You know, it's like, hey, these are the things you really should do to make sure your home is in great shape and, and safe and healthy. So Yeah, the inspection is just that peace of mind that you need when you buy a home that you're buying a worthy product and that you can be there for a long time without it uh, you know hurting uh, you know your pockets every every other month.